Hi friends, this is Pick Fund Medicoses. Hope you will be fine. Please subscribe my channel for latest medical videos. Today our topic is Barter Syndrome. Here we go. This is the basic structure of the nephron. This is the loop of Henle and this is the ascending limb of loop of Henle and this is sodium potassium 2 chloride co-transport pump and in Barter Syndrome there is defect in the sodium potassium 2 chloride co-transport pump so in butter in butter syndrome it is butter syndrome is autosomal recessive condition and there is defect in sodium potassium 2 chloride co-transport in the thin ascending limb of loop of henle and the features of butter syndrome mimics a state induced by chronic ingestion of a loop diuretic such as furosemide this is the pump in the ascending limb of loop of Henle and in Barter syndrome there is a defect in the sodium potassium 2 chloride co-transport pump. Chloride ion pump is also affected and potassium ion pump is also affected. When there is low water and sodium absorption there is a low body volume that will lead to the low blood pressure. It will lead to the activation of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. This system will lead to the increased hydrogen ion excretion and increased potassium excretion. Increased hydrogen ion excretion will lead to metabolic alkalosis and increased potassium excretion will lead to hypokalemia and patient will, will present with the muscle cramps and periodic paralysis. There is hypercalciuria in Barter syndrome and hypocalcemia. There is also some degree of hypomagnesemia. This is the pathophysiology of the Barter syndrome. Hi, our major sodium and chloride channels are out of order. Also, we are not reabsorbing calcium and magnesium. So, save sodium at any cost. Save sodium, lose potassium or hydrogen ions. I don't care. Save it as soon as possible. So, main purpose is to save sodium. When there is defect in the sodium potassium chloride reabsorption, and there is also loss of calcium and magnesium in the urine. There is activation of the renin and aldosterone system. And there is distal tubule compensation by reabsorption of sodium at the expense of potassium and hydrogen ions. That will lead to the hypokalemia, metabolic alkalosis, hypercalciuria or nephrocalcinosis. So in the urine, there will be increased level of potassium, increased level of chloride ions, increased sodium excretion and increased potassium ions. What is the treatment of the Barter syndrome? Lifelong potassium and magnesium supplements and liberal salt intake. High doses of electron or amyloride to treat hypokalemia, alkalosis and magnesium wasting. NSAIDs such as endomethacine, especially in neonatal Barter syndrome, AC inhibitor can also be used. What is the approach to diagnose the Barter syndrome? First of all, we will check the blood pressure. If blood pressure is low or decreased, then we will check the uh, pH. And if there is metabolic alkalosis, we will check the urinary calcium. If it is increased, then it is the diagnosis of Barter syndrome. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for latest WHO guidelines, for latest FDA approvals, for latest medical updates and for colorful mnemonics. Thanks for watching.